Hello, Twitch. It was a crazy little intermission, but all right, we are back with Ashley Stroudville. We'll get them to start telling you some stuff while I get everything ready. Hello, players. Hi. Hello, Seth. So, Brother Dawn. Hello, sir. Uh. Please recount your your glorious march into the capital. Well, if you really must know, oh, it was splendid. I tell you, splendid. Um, we went forth. Fourth, you see, they decided that I would I would lead the group. It was a unanimous decision amongst my peers, and um, it was it was our decision to go straight down the middle, if you were uh, not flanking either side, go straight down the middle until we got very close to the city, and then we took a nap. And during that nap, <laughs> during that time, uh, there was uh, some scouts that went missing, and so we had to go and try and find them and found out that they had been eaten alive by direwolves. Direwolves that enjoy pulling the arms off of poor, innocent soldiers. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them are now left-handed. They Who are. have daughters, <laughs> by the way? I don't care if they have families. Anyways, uh, we then finally made it to the city, and uh, I guess you could say invaded or skulked in through the front doors and were quickly uh, assaulted by orcs. Orcs with more orcs. And those orcs also had orc children that I don't care about. Uh, and that's pretty much where we left off. Oh yeah, and there was some bard guy who came ran running up to us like a pop. And that's, that's, uh, his, I, that's, I would, that's how I see things. I, I would also like to point out I'm not with the orcs. I have no connection to them. Traitor. No relation either that I know of. That you know of, yes. All right. So, your group of guards is, is, is around, um, especially with Chris Danasi, uh, who is, you know, probably amongst the strongest guard. <laughs> and then you have this random bard who just ran up to the party. <laughs> oh, you know it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 You, you, you seem to be alive. Good for you. Yes. Alive? Me? <laughs> I wish. So he's an undead. Let's kill him. Let me tell you a tale. And he gets his loot ready. <clears throat> Grabs battle axe. Grabs fist. And puts the loot away. Just, just tell us what, what has happened here. You, you appear to be some sort of no, some sort of um, um, townsperson. What was with those pants of yours? It's quite amusing. <laughs> um. Yes, I am a a person. Um, is he all right? He's not the only one looking at your pants. It's a, it's a weird accent. Save me from these weirdos, <laughs> please. The half orc says. I turn and look at the monk and go, obviously he has not been bitten by a snake. What makes you say that? Because his pants are on! I'm sorry, if you got bitten by a snake, do your pants come off? Why are you asking? I'm the one with the soldiers asking the questions. Uh, who, who are you and what is happening here? And obviously the DM needs to fill you in. <laughs> Speaking of which, where, where are our, our soldiers? Uh, Jerry, so what you recount, yes. uh, mainly because you weren't here last session, is that you walk into a tavern, you began to play, you know, the crowd was really into you. Like, you know, it was one, it was probably your best performance ever. You know, you, you get a little liquored up at the end, you somehow woke up in the basement of the establishment with everything on fire. And you've been running away from orcs ever since. That sounds like a regular Tuesday. It does. On a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, good sirs, it was a night. A night that I will never forget. Well, because it was only the other night. There I was. The stage was mine. And the ladies, phew, 
my, did they give me the eyes. And the tomatoes to the face, but I digress. I woke up in the morning in the basement and the fire that spread it was nothing I ever seen before obviously seen fire before but not like this and I have been running ever since the orcs that were there vicious hungry strong but that is what has led me to here Am, am I the only one who's going to point out that turns slightly sexual towards the end? Oh, I've noticed. Feels very uncomfortable. <laughs> if you can't find the beauty in other creatures, sir, then oh my oh my, you're missing out. Uh, uh, you're, you're saying that to a half-orc, he, he kind of doesn't like the way you're looking at him. In fact, he's just going to stop undressing me with your eyes stands behind the monk. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met the ranger? Do not meet the ranger. That I have not. Who is the ranger? Don't, ranger. Don't turn your back on the ranger. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, he will backstab you. The Atlan just... Er, the Atlan. <laughs> Atlan just waves at you. I don't think we should be staying in the streets any longer. We need, we, we need to get off to the side somewhere and, and underneath some cover. There may be more orcs somewhere. Some might say many more orcs. Somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> well, by all means, gentlemen. Shall we go somewhere? Where? I don't know. Don't There's go. no map. Are you guys not on the map? We're on the map. We just don't have a map of the city. You should all be there now. It's very dark. Yep. No. Are we going north? I shall. Or are we going south? It is like my grandmother always said. Go south to fill your mouth with the food that is nourishing. <laughs> I'm just waiting don't, for the Amelia. Don't don't stay too don't stay close to the ranger. You might take that a little too literally. Let us go, gentlemen. To the uh, south. Wait, no. no. We want to we want to go find the 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 regent, and I believe that was uh, to the north. Do the north! Chris the north, he says. Oh, did you say the regent? Yes, it is like my great, great aunt always said. To the west is the regent, and to the east there is not the regent. Let us go. All right then, away we go. Uh... So I guess we're gonna we're gonna head north and we're gonna take all of the militias with us. Yeah, give me a second, just uh, fixing the camera thing real quick. All right. Are they taking up the rear or am I? <laughs> you always are. <laughs> we all know you're the small spoon. I'm going to try and hide in the uh, the fog again, like I did last time. Okay. Are you doing this stealthily? Or are you doing this? I'm doing the stealthily. I'm not sure about them. Oh, I'll attempt to do stealthily. Time to roll my stealth. Are you going to scout ahead a bit? Damn it! <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna. Just gonna be my. How character. do you want your? Are you going to be stealthy? How do you want your militia? Uh. Well, well we're going to send the two not so stealthy people forward. <laughs> <laughs> And then a uh, small group in front of us, us in the middle, and then a group at the back. I thought I was taking up the rear. No, you are taking no one's rear, mister. Fine, I'll move forward. There's your formation. <laughs> that looks good, like we will be ambushed. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, 
Patricia, Patricia. Pointing my sword I'm at walking the... along with militia. Uh, yes, because that's very stealthy. As I'm walking forward, I'm just going to point my sword at each of these doors I pass. Just hoping nothing pops out of them. You, which door are you checking? I'm, I'm not checking any of them. I'm just pointing my sword at them as I pass by them. Okay. Um, point I'd your like to make a perception. Seductively at the doors. Each of them. This has really turned into a sausage fest. But no, um, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to um, I'd like to make a perception check to see if I hear any movement on the inside of you know, or just to see if we're being watched, you know, as we're walking along the... There's a bird singing. He's kind of drawing attention to himself. Tempted to stab him. I mean, what? Give me a perception. Uh, Sev. Yes? Could you roll perception for me, please? <coughs> he can't even roll. So that's automatic disadvantage on death saving throws, right? Oh well. Nat 20. Yeah. There's orcs. Here. Here, but you realize that this door can't open. Somehow. You realize that door doesn't open. So, it doesn't. since they weren't going to surprise I... round, they were all really good stealth. Can... They were all can, really can roll good a... stealth. Can I roll a, a dex save, or could you roll a dex save so I can tell our brave leader that we're kind of being put into an ambush and to move the men into position? 16. Can't really move the men into position so much because of where they are. They are protecting okay. the main group. But we, we really... He basically calls out, Ambush! Hey, right into your ear, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? Orcs. And this One second, I have an initiative of three. So the orcs... We'll all roll initiative. I am missing. Oh god, damn it, your initiative. I'm like I'm missing someone's initiative. <coughs> then I realize it's Epi, and I sigh internally. I, I'm I'm really sorry again. All right, your first act. The doors swing open next to you. There's three inside this building. It cut off. There are three in the building to your left, Eddie. Um, can you tell me what type of weapon attacks I have? I know I have a crossbow and a shield. Well, if you want to drop your shield, you can fire your crossbow. You also have longsword, two-handed or one-handed. Are they too far away for... Wait, no, I'm in the middle of... You can literally get to I... all of them. Oh. They're only like 10, um, 15 feet away. If I move to them, will I be... I oh, fuck it, I'll run up and... Will I be blocking the doorway if I do that? No, so they it's a double can't door. Get out? It's, ten, it's 10 feet. Oh, okay, then I, I'll take a position in one side of the doorway. <laughs> Hopefully someone will follow suit. Okay, and you make an attack? Uh, the guy in front of me. An 18 will hit the orc. Okay. For a nine damage. Part of me is going, sorry. Other part of me is going, eh. Jamie! Who am I? An orc. I dare say, I learned this one. In the places of the Shire, trademark. <laughs> As he strums his lute and plays a fantastic song casting fairy fire. <laughs> Okay, and where? Casting it here to engulf the orcs, but not to hurt my friend Duradil. And that is ten by 10, twenty foot cube. Okay, so it you basically, yeah, gotcha. 
So they will all make... I'm just going to make one deck save for all of them. What's your DC? 14. Nope. They're all fair fight. Ha ha, suck it! Thus ending the turn as the music plays. And you have... You have concentration. Oh yeah. Alright. Ajax. Yes. Ajax is going to... Let me see here. This is... Oh, my hand a dandy. 30 feet right here. Hmm. And then I will... Five, yeah, five feet right here. Get my uh, my sword and stuff ready, and I just ah, ready in action for when they uh, for when they get close to me, I want to attack. Okay. The orc directly in front of you, Durandal. Uh, Fifteen. Does that hit your armor class? You don't know, but it does not. Second one rushes up, also swinging at Durandal. With advantage now. For 22 with chits. Dealing 12, da 12 slashing. Duradale drops to the ground unconscious. Wow. This one runs up. Duradale, this is the story of Helifel. <laughs> this one runs up. Ajax, you're ready to action. I ready to action. To. Oh, wait, wrong one. Oh, I didn't roll for the guards. Sev. Do I really drop? Yes. Uh, 12. 12 on the dot. Relentless endurance. <laughs> okay, then your ready actions don't go off. Okay. Because he's at 1. You better really hope he doesn't hit you for 13 damage. 21 will hit you. 8. You now drop. Yeah. And they hold. The guards look to Brother Dorn, who directed you to go after Brother Dorn, because I've got to roll them and they're waiting for commands. That's yeah. them. Rush here, here, and there. As they rush out after Antolin. So, Antolin! There's three yep. orcs charging at you. I call it to Brother Dorn. Apparently, they don't like to take it from the rear. And <laughs> I'm gonna drop my longbow, pull out a short sword, and make uh, an attack at this thing. The one right next to me. Heard right, that one. So, Anglin, you fall over in a very awkward prone position. Ass raised clearly in the air. Is it sexy? No. Oh. It's an at one. <laughs> it's an at one. It's, it's the opposite. Brother yeah. Dorn! He looks okay. to you seductively. Oh! Hello! Well, it looks like Duradel has fallen, and I only have one healing spell. Hmm. I will order them to bring me Duradel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I, I, I ordered the guards, uh, three of them to go in and protect Duradel and, and fight, and another three to go up and help Antlin. Okay. And I will Sacred Flame one of them. Okay. They will make a deck save. 13. That's right on the nose. He just dodges out of the way. He's like, ha ha. Those level one spell saves. Damn you! Okay. <laughs> and Brother Dawn, the militia, charges up. Chris the Nazi just shaking his head the entire time in Antolin. Uh, the guards. So, let's see. How many one handed guards are. Only Chris the Nazi with one hand. 16! He will hit the foul orc. For seven piercing. The two handed guard misses. The other guard hits. Has anyone ever told Nasi that we gave we named a character that has one arm? I have not told him. He did <laughs> okay. neglected it. 
And then one, I have. two, and this one pulls, so it's an entire action, pulling Duradot here, and the other one files in. So they will make uh, some attacks here. All advantage. Two two-handeds, and one one-handed. They will all hit. This one kills that orc. This one does nine damage. And this one does six damage. Alrighty. The gods have done your work. Third out, you'll make your first death saving throw. For 16, that's a success. Jamie. Okay, now, I'm going to hold the concentration, but I'm going to move back as he sings his new song. Oh, the sacred flame, he missed it, but who is to blame? It's Brother Dom. <laughs> it's Brother Dom. I'm going to pick up the team pipe with this. Try and lighten the mood, because, you know, people are dying. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold concentration on it. Okay. So he just sings. Ajax. Yeah. Um, Ajax is going to uh, vault himself like right here. Okay. And he's going to uh, attack at this guy. Alright. For natural 20. Let's roll the natural 20 first. You kill that one. Oh, sweet. Do you then step up? Yep, and then I'd step up to attack this guy. Okay. Uh, 16 and the 22 both hit. Well, I'm not hitting. I only get two attacks. Six. You kill that guy, dead on. <coughs> nice. The orcs don't have the stay up ability. So... Ajax runs in, just bringing the sword through, and then punching one, dropping both of them. And that is his turn. The Orcs! The Orcs. They will do a thing called Great Axing Antolin. Oh, that's <laughs> my favorite. Am I facing uh, Brother 20. Dorn or am I facing them? Yeah, that hits. How many hit points do you have? Roll it. <laughs> now you're fine. <laughs> Uh, these two are gonna are gonna beat on a guard for eleven. They kill a guard. A guard has fallen. Guard, no, is it? <laughs> at least it's not Chris. And then they will attack the other guard at advantage. Sixteen just meets for eight. This man is injured. Desperately. See, he also has an arm. No. I stand up and I pull out my secondary short sword in my offhand. Okay. And then I'm going to attack this one that just attacked me. Uh, main hand. Yeah. That's a 10? That's a miss. And offhand, 17. That's a hit. For one damage! Wow. You slightly poke him. However, from being not from the rear, you don't do as much damage. Is it slightly poked him? Is it seductive? Uh, roll me a charisma check. Straight charisma? This is great because I have a negative one. <laughs> no. Okay. In your mind, though, you think it was very charismatic. Alright, that's my turn. Brother Dawn! Yes! <clears throat> Dear Militia, please save Antlin. And they all look to you and raise an eyebrow? Really? I, I, I promise his mom. Get over there! <laughs> um, and then uh, I will heal our fallen comrade 
with uh, a cure wounds. Okay. It was seven. So that'll be ten altogether. Ten from. I'm a life cleric. Yeah, but level two, right? Is when you get that ability. It's two plus the spell level, so that's another. Oh, even, three, at, even at level one. Ten. Okay. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. That is your action. You have commanded the militia. That's it. I have. Good for you. Kristanasi uh, is going to attack one-handed for seventeen hitting. For four does not kill him. Huh. This orc will not go down. This guy does hit. An advantage. Kills an orc. This was red flag too. Gets to there. Attacks the one down. Two-handed. 21 hits. For five. Get there and will. Natural 20 for 9, but does not kill him. Okay. The rest come. The rest take the flank because ambush. They can't get up there, anyways. Duradal, you're prone to the ground. I swear I saw my grandmother calling me. I never knew my grandmother was an orc. Um, he he stands up and is like, uh, "Let's stay here for a bit," and takes out his like crossbow. Um, I can't see any targets, so which would be good to pick off? Uh, he says, the one that's the most. "Okay, he, he's gonna pick up." Yeah, there's one with one hit point left. <laughs> He can go for that one. He will miss on 11. Meant to do that. Sure you did, Jamie. You don't need to hold concentration anymore. There we go. For some reason, it's not trying to click on the spell and it is not working. Have you tried working the shaft? Okay, for some reason my spell is not going off. Don't worry. You try that, turning that it off happens. and on again. <laughs> that, happens to, that happens to most bards when they hit a certain age. It's Very natural. Cool. It's a little pill they can get to help that. Okay, I want him to cast Healing Word on Antelope. Uh, Angelin is not, uh, he has. He has taken some damage, yes. Oh, Five there we healing. go. And the song that is sung is, I know a man with such a grin. He lays on the floor in his cold antlin. Tries to attack with so much sass, but always seems to get hit in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really is. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I, I do not regret making sure. Um, I, I do not regret one bit telling Slade you should play a bard. <laughs> not at all. It was definitely not worth it. Uh, Slade, Slade, take a DM inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> that show eat the turn. Ajax. Mm -hmm. okay. The orcs are chuckling, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, mouthful of pizza. Um, fifteen. Uh, twenty. It's right there. Bam. Oh, hey. <coughs> I'm gonna throw a dart at this guy. Okay. You will just hit. You will kill Steel. <laughs> yes. 
The monk had many kill steals. <laughs> it's okay, I stole two from the militiamen earlier. <laughs> that is my turn. And that is your turn? Okay. Uh -huh. Here's the orc's turn. He's gonna go for the weak target. Because he's an orc. He's gonna miss. Antlin. It is your turn. Can I reach him? If you were to move, yes. Where can I move? Oh, that's right. I can just go right here. Yes. Man, I'm gonna attack Oh my god, him. you're attacking him from the rear. I am attacking him from the rear. An advantage, 21. That's a hit. <laughs> Tens of miss. Four damage. He did more damage, but he's still up. I just whisper whisper in his in the orcus ear and I just say, Now oh, you're taking it up the ass. He's very uncomfortable. <laughs> he is. He's, he's, he's gone to contact his local HR representative. Um, <laughs> okay. Brother Dawn. That's, that's what I do. Chris, destroy him! Wait, do you mean O or representative? He's, he's not human. Take the um, dis inspiration. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. What are you doing, Brother Dawn? I'm yelling for Chris to destroy the orc because I know he's the best of all the militia. And I'll just move up slightly. Okay. So. Chris will hit. Chris will kill. I'm so proud of you, Chris. Chris needs his own separate shape. Chris he's, he's needs getting his there. own fucking sitcom. <laughs> Chris levels up with us. All right. So, how many guards remain? Just two, four, six, eleven. Do we keep all our guards? Yes. Each can add another 15 experience points. We're slowly climbing the top, guys. And you're technically out of combat. How am I doing this? Because if you guys do hit the 249 threshold and take a rest, you'll be a little up. What do you mean 249? That's I think the total. That's where we're at right now. I have internet. For how long, though? Place your bets. Uh, 249. So we have 51 more points to go. Of course. How is everybody? Is everybody okay? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, I am. Actually, can I look for my dart? Can I see if I can pry it from the insides of this orc that I just threw it at? Give me a perception. Okay. Do, do, do <coughs> any of the orcs have... um? Uh, no, you can bolts find it. Or ammo. Bolts or ammo? Bolts or ammo? Yeah. They do Cosmic not. They have javelins. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick up a couple of those. Okay. We killed all the orcs. We killed them fast, killed them slow. With an axe and a bow, we killed all <laughs> the orcs. <laughs> yes, is, is, very good. Is, is he going to be doing this all the time? Because, I mean, when we're trying to sneak, that might be a liability. Just saying. Do we you have will, a muzzle? You, you will stay the... Okay, sneaky folks. Raise your hands. I will raise my hand. Jamie raises his hand and his music stops. Bollocks. I see what they're trying to do. If I raise my hand, I can't play my loot. Hmm. There are Jamie, just, just... Jamie are point. you actually stealthy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay. Very good. Uh, so, uh, we're going to have to rely on Ajax... Antlin, and hopefully Chris! <laughs> so we can either uh, go into the room where the orcs came out of and take a short rest. I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know what's around here. I would recommend that the stealthy people take a look around while we hide. I'm all down for hiding. I, I, sure. I see the strategic, the strategic value in hiding. Let me... uh. 
Let me roll stealth here, so I can uh, sneak off. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. So is he sneaking off by himself? Am I sneaking off by myself, guys? Well, uh, we certainly aren't going with you. Would you like an NPC guard to sneak off with you? They Chris! Don't have, they don't have disadvantage. <laughs> and a plus one. Dude, 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 you're, you're, you're not taking Chris to Nazi. Just I say, going to write a new song? The Monk Against my better judgment, against my conscience and much better judgment, I would like Antlin to accompany me. <laughs> okay. So the rest of you guys are going in this room with the militia? Uh -huh. Yes. So, um, yes. so the Barrett has a new song to write. It's a romance song about the monk and the ranger. I do. It's called Pain in the Ass. Can't play in the real self. Are we all just going to start talking like the tick? What are we doing? <laughs> Rolling self. We're sneaking away to go into, I don't know, uh, scout the place. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> what was that uh, That famous song? Uh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, uh, Something about uh, not separating the group. Uh... We'll be fine. Words. It's fine. <laughs> Separation is a complication. We're, 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 we're fine. We've got a Barrett and a cleric. <laughs> Just remember to disengage and run. <laughs> All right. So, Angelin, what's that stealth roll? Spartans? Uh, give me one second. Uh, this is a pretty long second. Twelve! Yeah, not Excellent. Good. You may move about. Uh, by the way, I would have put my short swords away and picked up my bow. Yeah. I still don't trust you anywhere behind me. <laughs> I'm going to ready my bow to attack any orcs I see. Uh, coming around the corner. Okay. You have the light spell on you, right? Uh. What do I have again? Light oh. or a torch? Yeah, you had one of the two. I had dark vision. You had light, yeah. Okay. Make a couple of rules here. Huh. My dark vision seemed to, doesn't seem to spread out too far. It's because there's the dynamic lighting on the thick brush. Oh, because of all the smoke? Between the smoke, yeah. And the brush and stuff like that. Debris. Uh. All right. Uh, can I nope. see if I can roll a perception to see if there, are, if I can hear footsteps or? Sure. Nineteen. You don't really hear much. You hear like a little bit. Uh, you from here. I'm gonna give you a direction. Let me okay. change my color to red. From that direction, you hear some voices. Hmm. They don't seem to be. Um, in common, so. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, see if I can sneak along this wall then. I'm gonna, like, motion with my hand for Antlin to, like, follow along quietly. Sneak along this wall here. 
and I'm going to see if I can peer along this edge here. I'm going to be like right here, trying to peer across. You really want him to be behind you? Uh, can you see down here? I can see a bit down there. I can see There's down open to doors. here. They're open? Yeah, the doors are open. That's likely where the other orcs came from. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind and like be looking over there a little bit as I that's like I'm gonna peer over across this edge to see what I see down here basically. Yeah, you kinda see where you need to move up more to see more. Mm. I'm gonna look back down to the door, kinda like sneak my way up a little bit more. Mm hmm Give me a perception. Okay. Cause we are dealing with uh, Yeah. Smoke, so eight. Nope. Mm. All right, not seeing anything. I'm gonna back off a little bit. I'm gonna, in my, I'm gonna work my way back down here. And I need to roll the wisdom. Still don't see you. Okay. I'm going to kind of uh, with my back to the wall against here, and I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be right here, but I'm gonna be peering down through. I just need to move my token right here so that I can actually see. Yep. Yeah, do your perception. Twelve. I mean, parts of the building have collapsed, um, but you know, it seemed like they were at least definitely in here. You can see kind of. Hmm. Get another one. Do I hear any voices or anything from in here? You don't hear anything in there. Hmm. All right. It's a little too dangerous to stay out further than this. So I'm gonna... So you can wait? Hmm? You can wait a second. Alright. As they saw the light. Came to the wrong perception check. Damn it, Alan. Alright, they will not have it. They will not get a surprise round as you saw them coming up. Or heard them, I should say. Oh boy. You gonna warn me about this, or? I, I would want to do that. Point in that direction. They're coming. Uh. And I ready my bow. Okay. Intel and Ajax, everyone can roll. I mean, you guys are technically... They're gonna run for you, so... Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Epi, are you able to roll? Epi, are you able to speak? Epi's not even here right now. God damn it, Epi. Computer went down. Epi's online. I think his internet went down. The game. Alright, that is everyone. So, through the smoke, uh, Anglin, you kind of, uh, <coughs> you hear them coming? Yeah. You hear, like, the low orcish kind of sounds? Because I don't believe you can see any of them. I can kind of see one to be disadvantaged if I want to take a shot. If I want to take a shot? Yep, be disadvantaged. Okay. I'll take that shot. <coughs> yeah, nine. Yep, just because shoo, swings by them. Anything else you're doing? Uh, I'm going to move... Twenty-five. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, I'm gonna get right there. Thirty. Okay. That is Antolin's turn. Brother Dawn, what are you telling your men as they have this wonderful rest? I say you have done well, my militia, especially you, Chris. I I love you, Chris. You're amazing. How you kill orcs and kill steel all the time is perfect. 
Uh, and, and I cast resistance on Viridal <laughs> because he's died at least once. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, it's the concentration. He gets a, a D four uh, on a saving throw. Gotcha. Uh, concentration one minute. Alrighty. The ox. There. 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 And there. So, one is going to throw a javelin at you, Antolin. Of course the rest he is. Double moved. Okay. Well, I need to disengage in order to run away. <laughs> You'll need to try and take your action to get through them. Eight piercing, Antolin. As he just runs up. <gasps> And impales you in the chest. Yeah, that hurts. That is their turn! Sir Jamie! Shit. Sir Jamie's just gonna be leaning against the wall, plucking his strings. Brother Dor! Yes? What do you think of this? <clears throat> the ranger and the monk, both are now full and drunk. One hits like a rock, and the other likes... No, I can't say that. Hang on. Yes, you can! <laughs> <laughs> but then there's fine with talk. <laughs> and I'm just going to be strumming away behind the militia, ending my turn. Okay. Hey, Jax! Hi. Ah, uh, oh dear. He left me for dead. Initiative is a killer. Huh? Initiative is a killer. Initiative is a killer. Uh, you said that door earlier couldn't be opened or something, right? The one on the, uh, the that you encountered, yeah. The door behind you is open, wide open. I know. No, I was talking about the one before the other encounter. Which door are you talking about? On the right side, this one down here, yes. Yep, that can't be opened. Open. It's. For you, we looked at it and Herbert Nat 20 knew that it couldn't be opened. Damn it. <sighs> <sighs> this is going to be a little, uh. And I have to use my action to squeeze through them? Yes. This is what I want to do. Okay. Because even if I do squeeze through them, I can't make it through the next group, and then they'll just pincer me. Alrighty. Then they'll just pincer me. Um, well, I need to use my action to disengage. Yeah. If you don't want to take three attacks of opportunity and advantage. Ah, uh, alright. I'll disengage then. Okay. And then I will... Up here. Up this ladder. It's not a ladder. You get to the top and you realize the second, oh. fall has, the second floor has collapsed. Your back it is collapsed like, how? Like, you get to the top of the stairs and, like, it's just a pile of rubble. Like, there is no second floor? Yes. Like, the second floor was once there. Now is, a, you know, probably burned and collapsed. Is there a ceiling? Yeah, it's all rubble at the top of the ladder. And by ladder, I mean stairs. There is no second floor. It's all rubble. Yes. It's all on the ground. It's all, like, okay. at your height, eye level. It collapsed on the roof of the... The, uh, the roof of the first floor is there. Yeah. But the second floor roof collapsed and now sitting on what you see the second floor floor. I say. I was just wondering if there was a place I could hop out of. <laughs> like, hop out of the building. With. But I guess not. Um, but yeah, that uh, that is my turn. Damn. Okay. Bad decisions. Duradal sits there, <laughs> listening to the great stories. <laughs> As does the militia. Antolin! Uh, Antlin is gonna shoot the one that, sh uh, threw a javelin at him. Okay, the one in the front. 
Actually, no. He's gonna double move with his action. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm like yelling at the top of my lungs. Ox! <laughs> <laughs> He's here. Ox! 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 They're, behind, they're taking the rear. Um, uh, and just yelling out that I, I lost Ajax. When I was trying to escape, <laughs> Brother Don! Oh, don't lose me. Miserable. You abandoned me. <laughs> we will not abandon our friends. Let us go forth. Please, Militia, move forward, and I will move into the hall. Alright. Well, hello, Antlin. How are you? He's looking really beat up. Good for you. Get in there. That's it. I have to, I have one spell left. <laughs> I, I can't waste the, the it right now. The blight of being level one! They get there. Those ones get there and there. They can see because of the light. One orc is going to throw a javelin at Antlin. For 19! 19 will hit! For 9 piercing! I am down, but not dead. He has taken it from the rear! I took it from the rear! Alright, Brother Dawn! Two javelins and come at you! For 14 and an 18! Ah, uh, the 18 will hit. Oh, this could be bad! Eight, 7 damage! 7 damage. I have 1 hit point left. <laughs> Do you yell to your militiamen to save you? And then, unfortunately, the orcs descend upon Ajax as he hides on the stairs. No. Can they reach me? They can. It was 35 feet away. It was not. They're at 30. I just counted them. Oh, damn it. Well, at least now they don't have advantage. They miss. It misses. The second yes. one throws a javelin at you. For 19. Damn it. Yes. For 9 damage. I am down. That is the orc's turn. Jamie, your cleric's in trouble. <laughs> your monk is in trouble. To save the day. Excuse me, militia. This is how it is done. Can they cast? Firebolt. Holy oh. yeah, shit. He hits. Firebolt. Two damage. You see Amazing. You see his chest hair. I shall save the man who likes the wang. Anything else on your turn? Oh, hell no. I'm about to get dunked. <laughs> Ajax. Wait, death save. <sighs> Save, save, come on, baby. Ha! You get back up at one hit point at the start of your turn. Oh, oh geez. Um, how high up are these stairs? Um, like ten feet, man. Like ten feet? Would I take falling damage from jumping off of them? Yes, you would take a d6 of falling damage. <sighs> ten feet is exactly. Huh? I mean, you could technically try and roll, I'll say, acrobatics. Okay. It's my best shot at getting away from this. So action to disengage. As you jump yep. off the... Thing. Action to disengage. And then uh, jump off acrobatics. Roll it. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. God damn it. You take one point of damage. I I'm down. And you go unconscious again. The monk goes flat, he now is flat. <laughs> Don't all come out here, since Epi's not with us, and fire his crossbow. 
and the miss. The militia charges forward. They charge all the way up to give you guys One holds the rear, and Chris comes out in front of the down member. Angelin! That's yeah, saving through. Uncle cool question, are these doors right here? These side right things right here? Yes, they are. That's a success. Okay. There's also a door right here. Okay. That actually could open. Okay. One success, Brother Dawn! Oh, Antlin, here we go. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you run inside the room? No, I'll stay exactly where I am. Okay. Oh, wait, I won hit point. I run inside the room. <laughs> 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 the orcs turn. So they're going to start chopping into some militia. Let's see. Orcs, orcs, <laughs> orcs. Uh, 22 will hit. They kill Militiaman number one. This one steps up. The orcs attack the top left one, top left orc. 15 missing, and then the orc that stepped up attacks him. 17 hits for six. This orc comes over here, as does this one. And they start dragging Ajax away. Oh boy! And this one following them. Jamie! Uh, excuse me, that's my monk. I'm gonna fireball him. <laughs> oh dear. What did you roll? Eight. And that misses. I've had better shots. All right, so that is Jamie's turn. Let's shoot bonus action. Oh wait. Uh, what did they hit me with? Was it a um, javelin? Javelin. What does that do? Piercing. Ah uh, yes. Okay, so I actually have uh, a feat. So I did. Oh, I'm not at one. So add yes. back three. One very inhuman saves your life. So is that your turn, Jamie? Yes, it is. Ajax, death saving throw. Uh, that seven. was a failure. <laughs> Duradel yep. fires another bolt. I think he just hits. He does just hit. For another three damage. That will take us to the militia here in one second. Uh, 17. Okay. The militia. Up at the front. With two handed, they're going to try and focus down this one guy. This one orc. 22 hits for seven. Second Lush Man, two hands. Hits. For six. The one armed militia man. Who's not. Chris Nasi misses. Uh, Chris waits. Because he's holding the line. Antolin, you're prone. But awake. He, he can't really get up there to hit anyone. Okay. Chris did it miss. Um. Uh, we'll stand up. Angelin stands up to his feet from the prone position. He'll move one this way next to Chris and take a shot at the orc uh, that he can see the closest one. 12 misses, right? Correct. DC's 13. That's my turn! I tried. Alrighty. Brother Dawn! I will step out and see what's going on. 
Oh. Oh. It's really not much better than when you left. No, they haven't gotten any better. Oh, goodness me. Um, I will use the, 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 that sacred flame thing that never works on the first orc I see. <laughs> okay. The sacred flame that never works? Works! It works! <coughs> For one damage. I'm calling it now. The one looks the most hurt. Ooh. Brother Dawn burns him alive with his holy light. Oh, yeah. One arc down. I look at my finger and go, wow. <laughs> and that, that's it for me. I can't move anymore. Uh, you only moved 15 feet, didn't you? you can, I think you can technically move back, can't you? No, oh, press uh, onward! Press onward, he says! It's the orc's turn! So... Wrong tool! This orc starts dragging him away further! Uh, oh, jeez. <coughs> if I get up, I'm gonna fuck this orc up so bad. If you get up! <laughs> if I get up! One that one attack. and it's all over. For a 20 they hit. Nine slashing. Another militiaman falls to the ground. Dead. They then both move up. And they look to the guy with two arms. His two arms is too many. And they kill him as well. Brother Dawn, you've quickly made it to the front lines. Balls. <laughs> all right. Uh, they're gonna, so these double move to here, because they can't um, attack from there. Jamie! Impressed with how Brother Dawn does the sacred flame. He's going to walk up next to him and go, hmm, hold his finger out. And with the DM inspiration. <laughs> Firebolt. <laughs> oh. Wonderful DM inspiration there. Oh, so, yeah. So roll, roll your d6. We gotta make sure it hits. <laughs> For 13. You also ignite and burn an orc. Murphy's Law, man. Murphy's yeah. Law. So that'd be Jamie. Hey, Jax. How did that saving throw? Uh, I'm at one failure. Please don't net one. Please don't net one. Second ah, failure. So should I just grab that sheet now? No, you're not dead yet. Duradal! You must be a hero. He charges up with his sword in both hands. And something inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he doesn't he has advantage. For twelve slashing. He nearly kills an orc. The militiamen. Chris Nasi says, not today, Brother Dawn, not today. Today is not the day we die. <laughs> and the misses. The other guy misses, or hits with advantage. Killing the orc. <laughs> You're going to die. And uh, this militiaman says, why are you leaving me? And moves up. That will take us to Antlin. Save me from the nothing. Antlin is going to uh, move up with his full move or his movement right there, and then shoot another arrow at this dude as he he's running away. Fifteen. Fifteen is a hit. That'll do six, six damage. Hmm. Right in the rear. No, kind of like in the shoulder. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and that is, uh, that is Angela's turn. Brother Dawn. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. He will. He will fail. You're mastering this today. For eight. 
Sell me on how you burn the sword alive. What was that? Sell me on how you burn the sword alive. I go, by the power of Lathander, burn, baby, burn! And he burns, baby, burns! And I look over at the bard and go, yeah, that's right. Burn, baby, burn. I'm sure I can write a song about that. <laughs> <laughs> the orc rushes up. He's afraid of Kristanasi. Yeah, uh, actually, no. He throws a javelin. And we'll see. Chris or Angelin? These guys and have Angelin. javelins for days. They do. They're an orc raiding party. <laughs> for an 11. Uh, that will miss. He then goes the, returns the corner. As Ajax gets it, but further away. Oh. Jamie. I might end up seeing where they take me. Vicious Mark, you can't see him. So you're viciously <clears throat> marking one of your friends. Well then, that's gonna go down. I just muted myself, so what I said was, <laughs> look at the Vicious Mark and say, you are one ugly bellend. Would you like to move up then so you can see him? I, I would. Excuse me, excuse me, oh, excuse me, oh, here we go. Oh, hello Antlin. Goodbye Antlin. Ha ha! You are a bell -end. I will allow it. I will allow it. He will... He grunts in Orgish. Something about your mother is a whore. And your father smells like eyes. Wrong. That was my grandmother. And that is Jamie's turn. Ajax! Do a saving throw! Oh, this is... Uh, this is the last one, guys. If I fail this, I die. And I'm dead. Damn it, Clothy! The if thieving monk! The thieving <laughs> monk! Forever. All those orphans are going to die now. <laughs> Part oh, of my wait, plan! No, no that's, they, that's sad. That's they, sad. They, don't have, they don't have anyone stealing gold for them to buy food. Rain. Yes. Rain Jack Charlemagne has expired. That he has. So... Hey everyone, now uh, you can now pay out the bets to who's going to die first. <laughs> it was rain. Yeah, By an sure orc in the stairway. I now have to pay the bard a gold. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, you have a new sheet. Thank you. So, Ajax has expired. Dardale 5, 10, 15, 20, Runs up, says, I see one! And fires another crossbow bolt. For a 20. For two damage. The arc is fleeing. But not fleeing fast enough. That will take us to the militia. They, they look to you, shall we pursue, Commander? Damn Skippy! I think that means yes. Yes! <laughs> they surround the Orc. That's double moving. Antlin! Okay, Antlin is going to... <clears throat> oh god. 25, 30, oh god, hi. Shoot him a longbow! We're 19! That is a hit. For 5. For 5, he's still alive. Is that it, Antelope? Yep, that's, that's all I can do. Brother Dawn, you have the rear. Not anymore, I do. 
I can't still see anything, so I got to keep moving. I will double move. And I'm done! All right, the orc. He says you one armed militiaman must die. <laughs> and he falls, dropping his axe. All right, Jamie. You would now have the rear. Haven't I always? <clears throat> no way, that's not me. Go, run. Ah, hello. Seems like you could use a singe. Firebolt. You f oh, I thought you said, you said fireball. I'm like, you kill all the NPCs! That hits. All of them? Marvelous. He's still alive, however. I don't Durga, like this orc. Who lines up his crossbow shot. And hits for the kill steal. I swear, Duradel, if you were a monster, you would be cock blockula. <laughs> that being said, we are technically in militia in order. So we don't see we don't see the monk anywhere. <laughs> I assume he's still alive. Find him! I swear, he is so quiet I could assume he's almost dead. Okay, one comes over here. I found a door, should I open it? Chris looks over here, doesn't see anything. This guy sees the inside of this building. I would suggest listening at the door. Okay. Oh, sorry, they have actual mouth. Thirteen! Something sounds like it's moving! Wonderful! Let's wait until someone else is dead. Okay. Antlin! Uh, Antlin will... Five... Ten... Thirty... And he points he points towards Chris and then like calls back to the to the other people and just says the orcs came from that direction. And then I'm gonna double move. Okay. Can I see him? Yeah, you can see him being dragged away. Dead. <laughs> uh as a bonus action I'm just gonna call out He's over here! That's my turn. Okay. Brother Dawn! Mr. Chris, I don't quite know if we're loud enough. I will, I will begin to tell the bard to sing loudly. Let's not do that right now. Um, no. And uh, I'll end my turn right now until someone dies. Did you say a performance? <laughs> so that's your turn, orcs. That's my turn. Yeah. Say something orcish as he double moves in, throwing Ajax there. He can step back out in front. Uh, other orcs. This door opens, and you see this guard get pulled and just brutally murdered. <laughs> just absolutely brutally murdered from inside. Maybe not. Maybe he survives. Hold on. Nope, he also misses. This guard gets pulled in, but somehow survives. He may be the new Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the Ark's turn. Jamie! Oh, I suppose it is time to put the loot away. 
I'm gonna pull out my rapier and come over here next to the good, good man. And I'm going to wait here by him. So, Brother Dawn. We've been killing things. Yes. Good talk. In my turn. Okay. Very dull. Who's up here? This is the front of a temple. Okay. Well, what's your man now? He's going to hit the orc. For five damage. As he fights inside. This is what I'm listening to. Do I help him or do I come with you? What? He asks if we help the guy that gets got pulled into a building over here, or does he go with you? There's there's a lot of black here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so in this direction, you heard a scream as the guy that found a door got pulled through it by orcs. Oh. He's um, asking, does he help him, or does he go follow you? Oh. Hmm. I do Nope, leave him to his death, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> he gets up there. Curse the Nazi, charges forward. There's three outside, he yells back. That's a double move. Antwin. Okay, Antlin is going to... Oh no, I exit out of the game. Hold on. He don't know I exit out of the game? I would... Hold on. I don't know what kind of battle cry that is, but it's <clears> an interesting <throat> one. I exit the game. I need the ping, please. <laughs> that was an accident. Come on. Three. Two, one, loaded. Mm -hmm. Just the way Daddy likes it. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> I'm gonna move in the direction where I saw Ajax's body being taken. The, the, there's being to the right. As like yep. you can see them, they're going that way. That was where he was dragged. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Damn, militia's in my way. Alright, that's 25. Uh, I'm gonna have to double move. Okay. 30. Get there. Oh! Hello! Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Antlin has made a mistake. A tactical error. A tactical error. Yep. I call out to Duradol and just yell, Three orcs! Need help. I have my Chris bow Chris looks says, I, I just said that. Okay. He pats, he pats Chris on the shoulder. And then that's his turn. Good shoulder, oh, bad yeah. shoulder. The bad shoulder. Okay. Brother Dawn. <laughs> that's good for now. Uh, you know, I'll move up a little bit more. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> but this is, this is why dynamic legs is the best. And it's the oh, crap moment. So, as Brother Dawn's turn, the orcs are the only person in front of them that they can. A 12, Antolin. As I see, it's a 16. A 19 will hit for 8. 
And the final strike on Angelin. A 23 for five. Antlin is down. Now we got the orc with that poor one militia guy. For 12, he's still so <laughs> right. 17 will hit him. For 9. The guard is still alive. Jimmy! Run a conspiration, Antlin. Okay. And turn. Dread Elf. He gets behind Brother Dorn because that's all he can do this turn. And fires a bolt. Then dropping his crossbow to blow out his sword. He misses. Militia. I'll start with the guy off screen. Who hits for another three damage? Wow. And then Chris and I'll see. Mrs. Antolin, death safe. With you also have Bardic Inspiration. Uh Bardic Inspiration? <laughs> yes. Would you like to Bart use it? Yeah, D6, right? Or You're D4? fine, just don't buy a roll. Okay. One success! Brother Dawn! Oh, I seem to have a spell here. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, I think Spare the Dying would be good. <coughs> You're stable! And, uh, well, that's all I can do. Um, I could attempt to pull Antlin away. Um, do they get attack of opportunity on Antlin if I do? No, because he's just a corpse. Okay, I'm going to pull him back one. Okay. And I will end my turn. Okay. They push up. I will do the ones off screen first. So. That hits. That poor guy you left behind has been brutally murdered. And now on Chris the Nasi, three attacks. I'll take two hits. For 12 damage, Chris the Nasi is looking rough. Jamie! As we have. Unmade hosting for one viewer. Thank you, Unmade! I know, right? Just gonna drag you over here. What are you doing, Slade? You're muted if you're talking. Lady there. Excellent Slade. I think he's there. He's muted. Durdal will go. With his sword out. Trying oh. to save Kristen RC. For a 24. He will hit. Do like 11 damage. This orc and I'll open slates since I snap back for the next turn. As 
we go to the militia. This militia guard is going to stand on top of Antoine's dead body. <laughs> Finally, you have been topped, Antoine. I don't, I don't feel this, so it kind of sucks. An 18. For four, it will kill that orc. Uh, Chris Nossi will... Also, one hit. you only have guards with one arm left. I'd like to point that out. That is, this is the final push. All the guards only have one, one arm. Antolin, that's your turn. Yeah. the door. <laughs> I will move up uh, to here. And I will pull the mace and I will attack because I'm out of options. <laughs> But the moment when your cleric becomes your front line. With a hit. For two. Take that, sir. <laughs> All right, orcs. They're going to bring it down on Kristanasi. For a 23 and a 10. For four. Chris is still up. He's got four hit points left. He's sitting there with one arm and the spear, just trying to look between all of them. Jamie will step up and say something that Slade would say. And Firebolt for a hit. And six damage. He Oh, he's there. Slade's back. Well, so Slade, I, I may have like kicked out all my cords. I may have just got you a kill. So come up with your your witty quip. Witty quip. And that's the way the fireball goes. I don't know. You put me on the spot. I don't have much. God damn it, Slade. <laughs> this is why it's we can't have nice time. things. This is why we can't have nice things. I don't know. Uh, that, that's going to cause heartburn. There you go. No, no, it's too late now. It's too late. You ruined it for me, Slade. You ruined it. That is, uh... That will take us to the guard. Kristen Asi will miss. It's the blood loss getting to him. The other one-armed guard hits. For five, still up. Antolin sleeps on the job. Brother Dawn, some might say it might come down to you. Some might say. You are their only hope. That will hit on a 13. Meets the AC. As you bash his skull in. And that, gentlemen, is how it's done. I hurt. <laughs> Chris and Nasi is sitting there <laughs> bleeding out one arm. Goes, I think we should find refuge and maybe take eight hours of rest. That is an excellent idea, Chris. I am so happy you mentioned that. I will grab Antlin and pull him over to the door. Wait, you're going in this door? Well, who's got a high perception? Oh, wait, that's me. You should roll perception. Well, you say who's got a high perception. I mean... There's definitely orcs in there. <laughs> you hear them doing orc type things? Oh, man. <laughs> It would sound like Perhaps two orcs and two orcs. one orc like you haven't heard before. We we can't do it anymore, man. We need some time. <laughs> some some might say an orc that, you know, hits harder, makes more attacks. That sounds like the type of orc I'd like to meet on another day. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Where are we in? Do you go in this 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 place right here? You, barric you, you guys are barricading the doors, um, hiding. Um, throughout the night, you guys definitely hear a number of different orcs. Um, <laughs> you know, patrols and stuff. They seem not to pay attention to the, the house, be it by divine justice or plot reasons. We're, we're okay with plot reasons. Like, seriously. <laughs> are you sure? I mean, I can have them randomly check houses. 
The plot reasons are such beautiful things. There's now four of you. You may each add 100 XP to your sheet. Oh, we level up. As the party hits level two, the door shut. And the orcs bearing down, searching for the murderers of their kin. I think that is a, a good spot to end it since someone needs to roll a brand new character as they were horribly <laughs> murdered by orcs on a staircase. But you know what? It wasn't the orcs that got him. It was, it the, was the goddamn saves. fall. <laughs> hey, hey, if I had stayed there, they would have speared he, me to death. He tripped, fell, and landed on a sharp stick in the eye. Look. So from here's... shrouds, a, a short shrouds, tonight, we bid you adieu. And a do to you. Yeah. Night. To be honest, though, 